Hey everyone, this is Nadia from Cognito Forms. In this video, we're going to be taking a close-up look at our entry sharing feature. Organizations on our pro, team, and enterprise plans can use entry sharing to send entry links to the people who filled out their form. These links allow people to either view or edit their form entries after they've already been submitted. Before I go into too much detail, let me show you what I'm talking about. To get started, just open up the form builder. In your form settings, you'll notice the Allow Entry Link Sharing option. Selecting this will enable you to share both edit links and view links. An edit link allows you to make changes to an entry, while a view link only allows you to review the entry. These links use your form's title as part of the URL, so keep in mind that if you update your form's title, your current entry links will no longer be valid. With either type of link, you have the ability to determine when the link expires, meaning that it's no longer available to edit or view. You can set it to never expire, or to expire depending on your own specified criteria, like on a certain date or when a specific option is selected on the form. Unless you set the links to expire, people can access their links at any time, even after the form availability date is passed and the form itself is no longer accessible. Also, if your form is embedded on your website, you can include the URL of the embedded form here to ensure that the entry link goes back to your website. Once you set up your entry links, there are several ways that you can share these with the people that fill out your forms. One method is through an email that includes a button linking to the entry. You can set up the email template from here and then send the email manually from the entries page. To do this, just open up the entries page and select an individual entry. At the top of the entry, you'll notice the share option. This is the share entry dialog, so if you need to send this entry to the person who submitted it, just come here and select either an edit link or a view link. If you have a payment form like mine, keep in mind that form entries with the status of paid will only be available as a view link. For example, if we try to copy and open this entry's edit link, it actually just takes you to the view link. The view link looks pretty much like the regular form, just without the option to edit fields and with no submit button at the bottom. In this case, if the customer needs to edit their entry and make changes to their order, you have to refund their order back first. Now when you access the edit link, you can actually edit the form fields and resubmit the form. Going back to the share dialog, you can set the link to expire after a certain number of days or to never expire. Or if you're using an edit link, you can set it to expire as soon as the entry is submitted again. If you do choose that last option, keep in mind that the entry will go back to incomplete status. That means that submitting the entry again will trigger any email notifications or confirmations that you have enabled on the form. After you set the expiration, you can share the link in two different ways. You can copy the link directly from here, like we just did, and then share it however you see fit, or you could set up an email using the fields at the bottom here. By default, this email is set up based on the email template that we edited earlier in the form builder. When your email is ready to go, just click send. As a side note, the share dialog also allows you to manually resend the regular notification and confirmation emails for the entry. This is helpful just in case somebody loses the original email or needs it again for whatever reason. Now, the share entry dialog is great if you're just sharing an entry with a specific person, but you may want to automatically share entry links with every person who fills out your form. To do this, just open up the form builder and go to the form submission settings. Here you have the ability to include entry links in your form's confirmation message, aka the message that appears on your form's thank you page. From the toolbar, just select edit link or view link to include the link in your message. You can also include these links in your notification or confirmation emails, 
just open up your email settings and select edit link, view link, or both. That about wraps up this video. If you have any questions about entry sharing, be sure to get in touch with us. You can email us at hello at cognitiveforms.com.